taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Can you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. And what happened next? You'll see. They killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky.
chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Crystals up ahead. Just give the word. I'm ready. Long one. 
Atreus, here! An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Read it. Sir! Go! To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy! Right.
hang of this. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Oh, what brings you around, friends? Well, scrounge around a bit more and we'll build something then. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking.
Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? and what we need is all the way down there. Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. Going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. Welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised.
fell a little ways. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? You cannot. Boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Oh, I knew that one! Winter that Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Go! Oh. Oh. Try that. No, I wasn't right. Nothing. Boy, the order from the song again. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. <laughs> Try that. Venter, house. Suma, house. Retrograde lads. What? Of course. Try that. Venter, Vower, Suma, house. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song Mom sang. Try that. Vetter. House. Sumar. Vetter. The riddle. Winter is last. Here you go, brother. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Here. Boy. <laughs> what does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Oh, I know that one. Winter, that... Quiet, head. 
Doesn't like music either. Got it. Do it. House. Tuma. Bar. That's it. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Rising! The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Ord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the ball!
jump! You did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Get it free. A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Bald. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? We'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. It really livened up the place. You just can't help but break things, can you? Yeah, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side.
Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Uh, yes, yes, come in. Nothing to your liking, I see. Oh. Will you focus on your damn job? <laughs> I mean it! He went to war with Uncle Huck and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had three straight years. And as long as Father was in the show, so he will stop talking. Focus and help me. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling him. It is a priceless relic after all. <laughs> Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? Snow <laughs> <laughs> one's yours! Don't tell me! <laughs> Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Don't know. 
Don't care. Come here, Harry. You're done now. Shut up! Don't call me that! Looks like they need a Oh! 
what did you You have no idea what You son of a bitch! No, no. No, no. No, no. Sickness. Fever has returned. No. It hasn't. Boy. <sighs> the coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs flair. No. Steady. I'll be all right. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take Wait, utmost care of the hand. It is a priceless relic, after all. To so work we go. Have fun eating out your um, righteous fury. Master Atreus, how may I serve? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant.
Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. It's moving. <laughs> an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Did it. Under his palm, we're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath the temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy.
Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I see something down there. Come and face me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? When my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. First we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come boy, we have a statue to destroy. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Vaithergard. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. I'd heard rumors of a powerful Dwarf ruling over some poor sods not far from here. Not that you asked me. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well... Scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. Can't beat us. Curse the Dwarf King. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Can you read it? Sir! Veda Dowther. It means... Hunting death. Great. How do you even begin to build statues this big? Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Take that, Draugr! Top over. His 
father's grave. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? He wasn't so tough. Gods do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Sounds like a dragon. It is a dragon. Is this one chained up too? Over there. Look here. Yes, sir. Interesting. Chain dragon? Can we help him? This dragon is dangerous. I guess so. But it sounds so sad. Children sure, get sad from all the rolling and fire breathing, lad. The dragon shrine. I've heard a story about three chain dragons in history. The shrine must be a leader. There were three rooms on the pedestal. We've got to find the other two and three. Let's not concern us. I know, but it's what Mother would have wanted. And it just seems right. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them. Looks like the runes on the right side fell off. They must be around here soon. <laughs> to believe, or to have faith in So they still have faith in their king? And after he got so many of them killed? It is a command, to have faith despite his failures. That's right. Queen of the hunt, they called her. That's her father. And all the animals she hunted. He taught her well. In the last battle. Her father again. Both of them. In the snow. And they're still there. It's quite a story.
wicked this place. A ruin. Well, yeah. But if a dwarf built it, they must have been impressive back when he ruled. attack us and we will be forced to kill it. Oh, good point. I'll be ready. We'll see. That's the one behind you, brother! <laughs> The Dwarf King made his subjects hunt dragons and other monsters for him? Some king, huh? You can't hear their thoughts. I can. Ignore them and ready yourself. Okay.
thinking now? Well, nothing. But he was grateful to die in battle. Instead of rotting in a cage. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. Oh. Fresh air feels good. I guess now we find out if dragons can be grateful or not. Yes, sir. Don't eat us. Roy, prepare yourself. Huh. You're welcome. So, what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for chain dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King. Mimir, what can you tell me about that giant lady with the bow? She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Fiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature, and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame. For there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell. Holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. You there! Have you destroyed the statue? The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond of this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of the thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave god. Want to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Rhea did say the Jotunheim realm tower was missing from the lake. But maybe only kinda? Very strange indeed. <laughs> 